Hi, you sexy biscuits, and welcome into Fears to Fathom Home Alone. This is currently available for free on Steam, so if you want to play this for yourself, head over there. I don't generally play horror games because I'm a big baby, but today I thought, why not? So, Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. You are playing episode one. More episodes are coming soon. Episode time is 20 minutes. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. It was the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up just about any time of the day, although I did plan on fixing that. Okay. Uh, is that a bedside clock? Okay, space, get up. I woke up at around 8 after a nap that evening. I love the VHS look to this. That's bloody awesome. <laughs> it's just reminding me of Procession to Calvary, that. Okay. Right, yeah, not listening to that then. Perfect. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it right after waking up. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Escape. Read text messages. Wait, when are you guys going to be back? Dad and I are going to be back on Monday, honey. Didn't I tell you yesterday? Oh, that's cool. Well, take care, honey, and sleep on time. I hope you'll get the Xbox like you promised. I mean, if you get that discount, of course. Can I invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure to check it's them on the door before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, mum. Dad and I may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, mum? I'm 14. I think I'm going to take a little nap. Probably going to order some pizza. No need to order anything. I already made you lasagna this morning. Check the fridge. Okay, can I type? Um, hello. Can I send that, possibly? That would be awesome if there was AI built into the game. Oh, we got an achievement. Awesome. Um, so this is Mason. Okay, so my parents are out for the night. When I come over, we can play Mario Kart 2. I'll let you know. Um, okay, cool, Josh, too. I can't promise, dude. May have plans with Nat. So I'm guessing they're not going to be coming around. So uh, let's head downstairs and make ourselves some food. Oh, bloody hell. I remember being home alone growing up quite a lot. And I was always terrified. I always stayed in my room. There was one time, though, where I was home alone. And my parents had gone out for the night with my young stepbrother and stepsister. And I literally heard downstairs... Who is that? I literally heard downstairs, um, kids. Because they were kids around that time. Um, and I heard kids talking and laughing and stuff. And I went downstairs because I assumed they'd come home and it wasn't them. There was no one downstairs and that terrified me as I was growing up. Um, so this really does make me quite nervous, I'm going to be honest. Uh, can we turn on lights? No. Okay, so the power either is out or... We're just not allowed to interact with that. Now, that person that was outside... I don't know. Who was that? Okay, well, there's no one outside now. They did go off to the left, so... Um, let me head inside the kitchen and try and make some food here. Uh, so we got that. I'm guessing they've put it in the oven, right? Oh, okay. I needed to warm the food up. So, let's look in the fridge then. Ah, there it is. Lasagna and... Let's dump that in there. Okay. Now I'm going to double check just in case. Okay, that's cooking. I probably should have closed the refrigerator door. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be a smart idea, wouldn't it? Oh, bloody hell. I've been really struggling to make videos recently due to the bloody heat. It's so hot in the UK right now. Honestly, houses in the UK were not designed for this amount of heat. A lot of the houses in the UK are incredibly insulated because we aren't used to this kind of heat, so uh, it is horrible. It, it reached 31 degrees yesterday, which is around 87 Fahrenheit, which is bloody insane. Okay, let's sit down and watch some TV, probably. Here we go. Now, can I turn on the TV from here? Do I have a remote? No? Okay, hang on. Let me go turn on the TV. That would probably be a smart thing to do. Oh, look at that. What is that? Could I, uh, oh, it's some random guy. 
I love that show. God, I, I would constantly be looking at the stairs if I was in this house in real life. I'm, do I eat this? Like, how... <laughs> I'm confused. Do I, do I put this on the ground? Do I, do I eat it? What do I do with this? Hang on. Let me go get a plate. That seems like a... Oh, my God, that terrified me. Oh, bloody hell. Um, okay. Let me go and get a plate here. Can I not pick up a plate? Can I throw this? Hang on. Oh, okay, right. Is there no way to pick up a plate or something? I can't just eat it from the tub, right? I liked watching TV while I ate, but I haven't got a knife or fork, right? Oh my god. I'll just kind of sit here then. <laughs> sit here bloody awkwardly with my lasagna. Oh my god, really? Oh, that's how you eat it. You click on it. Okay, let's just um try and eat this without seeing someone outside the windows. I felt very sleepy after eating the food. Oh my god, I don't want to do this. Okay, let's go and put this in the sink. Oh, Mason. Uh, we're going to have to call it off, man. Something just came up, but you got to come to Jessica's tomorrow. Oh my god, I really don't want to. I don't... Really? So that wasn't him then outside. Let's throw this in the sink then, I guess. Here we go. All right, let's head back upstairs. <sighs> I, I don't like this. I, I don't like this at all. Okay, come on. Up the stairs. There you go. I'm sorry, Miles. Got to see you tomorrow. Crap. Wait. So yeah, there's no way then. Don't forget Cam, though. Chill out, dude. All good. I'll probably just go back to bed after Cam. Okay. So he's doing chemistry. Um, can I look out the window? No, not really very easily. Where was I before? In the parents' room, right? Hang on. Did I close that door? I don't remember closing that door. No, there's no one out there now. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Back into my room. Close the door. Uh, is there a phone or anything that I can use to call? I mean, I've got my mobile, I'm assuming. All right, let's finish up this homework. I couldn't focus because of the TV noise downstairs. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. Oh, this is like The Sims. In The Sims, they couldn't go to sleep if you left the TV on. Right, hang on. <laughs> we could turn the bloody TV off. Is that door still open? Yes, I'm going to leave it open, I think. I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Also, why are your blinds open? Like, shouldn't you be putting those down? Literally anyone can see inside. Mum, uh, don't stay up too late, you kids. I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Paula this time. Oh, okay, I'm assuming... I've been a bit of a douche canoe before and stayed up late. No, there's no one awake over across the road, so let's head to bed. 1.16 a.m. Oh, I don't like this. Why is my vision all foggy? Wait, am I dreaming right now? What is that noise? Is that the clock? What is that? Oh, I bet I'm dreaming, right? No, this does not feel right. Like, where am I going to get water from? Do I have to go downstairs? Oh, I don't like this. What is that noise? It sounds like a... a gra that door's closed. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, don't like this. Yeah, I'm... I'm alright, thanks. <laughs> Who closed that door? It's very good so far. I like the build-up of tension. That's that's quite impressive. A lot of games nowadays are very jump-scary. Um, I need water, so I need to find a cup or something, right? Is there a cup around here I can use? I couldn't see a bathroom upstairs. Hang on. Is there a, anything in here I could take? There's water there. Right, let's close this. I can open the front door if I need to. I don't want to, though. Yeah, I I remember being around this age and being scared that someone was going to be outside the house. I think your brain plays tricks on you. Why is that not on? 
debug. Wait, what? This really does play into that fear, I think, and that's quite impressive. Not many games really do this. I'm assuming at some point he's going to end up coming in or something's going to happen. But as of right now, this is pretty impressive. Okay, well, I'm pretty finished with this water now. Okay, oh, hang on. Miles, who's that at the door? Wait, what? Hang on. Click to hide? Wait, did you see that? Hang on, how do I do that? Oh, under the bed. Oh, so that person over the street has um, taken that. I'm, I'm guessing that's the lady. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't like that. Oh, come on. Um, do I hide under the bed? That seems really obvious, right? That's like the obvious place to hide. What? What's the matter? What, what is it? Hang on. Paula sent me. She said he's been creeping through the windows. We're calling the cops. You kid lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door no matter what he does. Oh! Oh my god! Uh... Okay. Uh, right, yeah, I'm going to bed, I think. Um, back door, back door. Oh, no, no, close the door. What are you doing? Can I lock these doors? Is that not an option? Oh, my God. Okay, right, I'm leaving. I'm going upstairs. I wasn't expecting him to just be stood there like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, lock the door. Yeah, lock, no, lock the door. Can I not do that? Is that not a thing I can do? Hang on. Front window. This is so obvious. This is so obvious. There is no way he's not going to come straight in here. Like, why didn't I go and grab a knife, right? Like, horror films are so stupid. <laughs> Always grab a weapon. Can't hear anything. He's ringing the doorbell. It's Paula at the door. Well, she can piss right off. I'm not going down right now. Mum's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. Do you hear her? It's Paula at the door. Mum's so sorry. No, no, I'm not falling for that. That's stupid. Unless the game wants me to. He's already broken. No, he's already broken in. He's already broken in. I heard him. I'm not falling for it. No, that's not happening. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'd be one of the ones that would survive. I think... Oh my god. No. The game wants me to, doesn't it? Can I... Piss off. <laughs> god damn it, why can't I message? Fine, yeah, the game wants me to. Brilliant. I don't want to, this is stupid. Will you piss off, honestly? Well, all her lights are on now. Could it be a... Unless he's already in the house and that actually is Paula. Oh, fucking hell. I can't see downstairs. It's not going to be Paula. It's not going it... to... Holy shit! Oh, no. No, no, no. No, thank you. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off. Piss off. <laughs> ah! I, I thought I could sneak. I thought I could sneak. That did not happen, did it? Okay, yeah. I, it's, it's just crashed. It, the game's crashed. It's like, no, not having that. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> that is Fear Us to Fathom Home Alone. So maybe that was Paula. Maybe that was Paula after all. <sighs> okay. Uh, I love each and every single one of you. Thank you very much for watching. Well, until next time, that's me. Out. Bye, guys.